What's going on guys? So right now I am sitting in the car waiting on Dan to come out and uh, yeah we are going to go see a movie named Golda so I'll let you know how that is and um, this is how we're starting off this new vlog for this week. Is what it is. I mean the last vlog was a train wreck. I left you off at planning on going to see this movie so I figured out you know what we're gonna start it just the way I ended the last one I don't know where to go see it so <laughs> all right plus this week coming up um there's gonna be a little eventful uh I gotta go to the dentist so I'm having some things done which are gonna help me out tremendously to tremendously in my confidence so we'll see how that goes and I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but I do have to have another tooth pulled, unfortunately, and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to have this bottom thing fixed, thank God, so, but we'll talk about all that later. So, but anyway, alright, I will check back in when we get there. Okay, guys, we made it in to see Golda, and as soon as it's over, if you can hear me, I don't even know if you can hear me, we'll let you know how it is. How do you think it's going to be? I think it'll be a great movie. He thinks it'll be a great movie. I have no idea. I really don't remember it. I'm too young to remember that whole situation, not saying Dan's old, but... Anyways, alright, let me get off here. I'll let you know how it is. Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, so, first things first. We went yesterday, I told you, the last clip, we went to see uh, Golda. <clears throat> Very good movie. Um, like I said before, I didn't really remember any of that because you know, I was too young, I was a kid. But, um, man, she was a tough lady. Like, seriously. So if you get a chance to go see it, you go see it. It was called, it was basically done on the uh, Yom Kippur War. Well, that's what it was called, the Yom Kippur War. So, you know, in any case, go see it. It's good. Right now, we are actually back up where we used to live in Hudson. Dan had an appointment. He has to have a um, bladder scoping. He has to get that done every so often. And a lot of you guys don't know that years ago, Dan had bladder cancer. So, um, yeah, that was a whole ordeal. So, you know, every so often he has to get the bladder scope and make sure everything is good. It hasn't tried to come back or any of that stuff. So, that's where I'm at right now. In the car. I had dropped him off, went to Mickey, grabbed something to eat. <clears throat> and it came back, and, um, yeah, after this, we're gonna go straight home. It's like, basically, it's a hundred miles to get back to the house from here, and he is not gonna have, it's, that's gonna be a rough ride for him, because he's gonna be very tender, but, um, it's what it is, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and then this weekend, not too much is going on. Really, nothing is going on. I'm just going to be peddling around the house a bit. And then on Monday, I go and get uh, the one extraction, uh, not one tooth on the bottom, get some fillings, and then go ahead and do... <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to do impressions to Monday or... Probably not, because i got to go back in in September on the 6th to get a cleaning. And then they'll do the impressions and get the top plate done, get the partial done. And I'll be rocking. I'll be good to go. I have been waiting to get this done, taken care of, for so long. And for those of you who are curious as to why I'm in, this, in the position that I'm in, I've done this in a video a long time ago, and I'll touch on it. I'm not going to do it right the second. I don't have time. <laughs> but, um, I will touch on it. But it has to do with the AS. It has nothing to do. And I know some people were thinking this. Has nothing to do with. Um, uh, poor dental hygiene. Or any of that shit. 
because if it's one thing, one of the things I did take pride in and take care of were my teeth. You know, they're, I wore braces back when I was a teenager to straighten my top teeth. And, um, yeah, that's something I just, I just did. I took pride in my teeth. But AS came along, ankylosing spondylitis, and kind of, you know, did what it did, and this is where I'm at. So, okay, let me get off here for now. I'm going to go in, relax, and um, let this car rest because it's running. It's hot. It is, it's not that bad, actually. It's only 95 degrees. Go figure. Good morning. <laughs> What's going on? All right, so it is, um, I'm just getting up. It is, uh, what is today? Tuesday morning. And you can see my hand in the way of the camera. Sorry about that. I'm um, just getting up, getting a day started. I got up a little bit early. And I think I'm going to take an ibuprofen. For some odd reason, I told you guys I had that tooth obstruction. And, um, yeah. It's bothering me a bit, so take an ibuprofen for that. Let that sit for a bit. Try to get something to eat here in a while, and go from there. We have to go get tags today. I have to go get blood drawn for uh, upcoming infusion next week. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, get ready for a storm. That's a thing. That should be coming through, not through here, it's actually, hopefully, as of right now, moved a little bit north of us, so it'll be coming in just north of us, and, um, but it'll get pretty rocky around here, but in any case, so we're, you know, kind of getting prepared for that, and I'm glad to see the, uh, people around here in the neighborhood, construction-wise, are getting ready for that, because everybody was worried because they weren't picking up their construction dumpsters and all that stuff. But I can see this morning they're out and about. So. Ow. That's a plus. I told you if it hurts. In any case, alright. So, I'm going to wait for Daniel to get up. And we're going to go get the tag. I'm not going to get my blood work, like I said. Grab a little bite to eat. Um, got to remember to chew on the side. And, uh. Oddly enough, my um, great niece, I guess she'd be my great niece, Alexa had some fillings done yesterday on the same day that I had my stuff done, so it's kind of ironic. And she did pretty good. She was nervous when she went in, but according to um, her mother, my niece, she said that it uh, wasn't as bad as she thought it was going to be, So, which is normally the case with kids, right? I mean, you go in, they're terrified. They don't know what the hell is going on whatever so that worked out for her so that was cool and um yeah all right that's it let me stop running let me go do what i gotta do right now check back okay y'all so i was gonna y'all saw that right <laughs> like i was getting ready to say i was getting ready to go to bed but uh mother nature had other plans for me Alright, I'll give it another shot. Hey guys, alright, so today is Thursday. I just got back from getting blood work done. I don't even know if I told you guys that now a couple clips ago. Um, trying to remember where we left off. Dental. I had been to the dental, was going to go. So we did go, or did I go? After that, I don't remember if I picked up the camera since then. In any case... Maybe I did when I almost got hit by lightning. Was that that night? I think it was that night. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, I can't remember if I said how that went. Anyway, it went fine. I did have the extraction done. They did clean, or fillings on this side, a couple of fillings on this side, on the bottom. And uh, I will go back on the 7th and they will do a cleaning. Then they would do impressions for uh, to get a new, you know, upper plate and then the partial on the bottom, and then I'll be good to go. And this is way long overdue. I sh this is I should have had this done probably a year and a half ago, but it is what it is. In any case, it's getting done, 
and I can't wait. And that is kind of one of the reasons why I had laid off of filming for so long because I was so, you know, um, no, I didn't really have the confidence to go on camera with this thing going on on the bottom because it's very visible, as you can tell. But I'm at the point now, I really don't give two shits. It is what it is. I'm getting it taken care of and it will be, <laughs> it'll be fine. You know, it'll be fine. So that's done. And then today, uh, Dan, he had an appointment, so he's off doing his thing. Um, and then after he gets home, we're just relaxed for a bit and then we're gonna go uh, see another movie tonight. And yes, we do go see movies a lot, and that's because we have the, um, open it up, the Regal app. So, you know, and it's like, you pay 18 bucks, eighteen ninety nine or whatever it is a month for, to be a club member, and you can see as many movies as you want. And it's working out, because as many movies as we're seeing, it's like really more than paying for itself. So, that's cool. But today we're going to go see Retribution. Last week we went to see, um, what the hell is that? Golda. That was an awesome movie. As I said, go see that. Um, I think I said that in the other clip when I was been waiting for Dan, excuse me, when he had another appointment. Oh, back where we lived over in Hudson. Matter of fact, I know I did. I was sitting in the car when I told you about it. But yes, it's a good movie. Go see it. Golda. Very good. So anyway, we're going to do that. And then after that, I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the week. I have to go next week to get Remicade Infusion. And... Which is why I had to get blood work today. Because they test for TB and all that stuff. Because of the Remicade. So I will do that next week. And then after that, I don't know. Um, believe it or not, I still have a few boxes I have to go through in the garage to figure out what I'm doing, if, if I can utilize the stuff in the house, or if I have to. I also have a donate box in the other room <laughs> ready to go. So, you know, it is what it is. Slowly but surely, we're getting settled in. I'm just really waiting for November... I hope it's November. Really, I hope it's sooner than November to get this um, birdcage put in that I was showing you guys out back when I did the walk around. And uh, yeah, that'll be so nice because right now you can you can go out. I can go out now if I wanted to. The, the bugs are not that bad during the day, but it's hot. So <laughs> in the evening when it does cool down. You know, it's not terrible temperature-wise, but you can't sit out there because we have tons of no -seams. Not so many um, mosquitoes. I haven't seen that many mosquitoes, but, you know, you just can't relax without getting eat up. So, hopefully, they might be able to get that in sooner than later, and we can actually enjoy the space, and I can do do what I got to do. I already got planned what I'm doing with the, when, once it's put in getting some outdoor furniture and all that stuff. And just waiting for these houses back here to get done. This one will be done, um, I'm guessing by the looks of it, probably, because it kind of slowed down, probably another month, hopefully. And then of course the lot that I showed you guys is still there. It has, I mean it's only been a week. <laughs> hasn't been sold yet so we, we don't know how long that's going to be as long as if it's set vacant fine but if they're going to build on it i'd rather them hurry up and get it sold and if they can't sell it at least put a house there and for a spec house and then sell it that way um just to be done with it you know just to get all the construction right here around us done and over with that i don't know i just I'm a little over the construction at this point, and I get it, it has to be done, you have to deal with it for a while, but, you know, it is what it is. In any case, um, I don't know what else, I mean, I did the dental thing, Dan's doing his thing, we're going to go see the movie tonight, there's not that much going on, we are going to try to take the camper out next month, 
um, back up to the forest and for about a week because we have not had the camper out. It has been, I think November will be a year since we've had the camper out. We go periodically to make sure everything is fine and I keep the damper and things in there to keep the moisture out, humidity and all that stuff. But yeah, it's been about a year. The last time, the only time it was moved is when we moved it up here from the other place, you know, and parked it in storage. So that'll be cool. And uh, after that, I have no idea. Dan says he wants to try to find a place. I did go for my passport. Um, or apply for my passport that hopefully hopefully fingers crossed should be here uh, by the end hopefully by the end of October because it takes like 8 to 12 weeks and I'm going to 12 weeks just I'm going to you know the max and that would put it right from the time I, I applied for it and they received it uh, would put it right at the end of October, so hopefully I'll get that done. And if we can get that in, um, a couple of things going to happen. One, we may we may go to Israel because Dan wants to take me to Israel, or uh, he was talking about um, one of the cruises, not just the basic Bahamas cruise that we normally you can take around here or the, the Mexican cruise, the Cozumel and all that stuff, because you don't have to have a passport for that. You know, as long as you board a ship and come back, you, you don't need a passport. But um, he was talking about one of the cruises that goes to, uh, I think he's talking about Amsterdam or something like that, which I would love to go to Amsterdam because one thing that is on my bucket list is I want to do the Anne Frank house. And yeah, that is one of my things. And he actually, he had mentioned, um, well, he didn't bring it up, I brought it up. And he said, yeah, that was something he would enjoy doing as well. But uh, he really wants to do the Israel thing, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, in any case, all right, I'm gonna end the vlog here. And because I got a lot of editing to do, I gotta get all the clips off my phone. Which I gonna I let me just say this. And when it comes to the video clips that are on my phone, um, I'm a little impressed with them because this is not an expensive phone by no stretch of the imagination. It's just a it's a Motorola Five Ace or something like that, and it's like a two hundred and thirty dollar phone. It's not an expensive phone, but the quality of the video is actually decent on it, and I'm very impressed with it because I think, if I'm not mistaken, the last video vlog I put up was all done on this, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> but I do need a new phone because we're having issues with the GPS on the phone, so I got to get a new phone at some point because I've had this one now, uh, probably, a year, what, yeah, no, really, it's not that old, about a year and a half. But there, it is having issues with the GPS, so, with the Android Auto or whatever. But, and Dan says something maybe about getting Apple phones, and I don't know about all that, because that's foreign to me. I am so used to Android. I don't know anything about Apple products, and I'm not ready, to, I'm too old to learn new shit now. So, in any case, real quick, storm-wise, all right, everybody here is fine. Everybody, um, our friends and neighbors at the other place in Hudson, you know, Bill and Christine and uh, Steve and Sabrina and a few others, they're fine. They, they were all, there was a lot of flooding on the, if, for you guys that don't know, we live like two miles in. And there's US 19 and we are on the east side of 19. West side of 19 is Gulf side. So, uh, everything on the Gulf side, <laughs> obviously they had problems with flooding. But uh, every, everything, you know, the neighborhood was fine where we used to live. Oh, that's good. And we only had one friend that, he has two houses. He has one, 
Now, he lives in Newport Ritchie, but he also has this house that he grew up in in Perry, which is where the hurricane went. And he happened to be there, and I don't know why, <laughs> but he, whatever, he was there. Uh, but everything was fine. Um, he didn't really have any damage. There were a lot of down trees. I mean, if you watch the news of that area, Taylor County, you know, it was, you liked that pretty good. But um, in any event, he was fine. You know, he's fine. So, luckily, thank God. So now we just sit like normal Floridians do, and we wait for the next one to come through. Whether we get one this year or next year, I have no idea. But in any case, all right, I'm going to end it here. Um, I have a lot of clips i got to put together. I have some editing I have to do. And that's going to take me a minute. So I don't know if I'll get that up today. Today is the 31st. Or if I'll get that up tomorrow in any case whenever you see it you'll know it's up so there's that and then I'm going to do another I don't know if I'll do it next week but we're going to do what we're going to do I'm going to do another ankylosing spondylitis vlog and that's I'm going to you know the main thing on that one is going to be for um discussing you know getting help from family members and then things you can do around the house to keep from hurting yourself and lifting and stretching and all that kind of good crap. So I'll get that done hopefully next week and get that up. Sorry about that. I just kicked the thing there. All right. I love each and every one of you for free. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Take care.